So far, participation from a secondary school, a few primary schools, two preschools and three government departments in the St. John's City East and St. John's City West disaster districts have been secured for the exercise. The initiative is being facilitated locally by the National Office of Disaster Services, NODS. As for international assistance towards the endeavor, this will come in the form of Carib Wave 16, which is conducted by the Intergovernmental Coordination Group for Tsunami and Other Coastal Hazards Warning System for the Caribbean and adjacent regions, the Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission, IOC, the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the NOAA, and Caribbean regional stakeholders. According to NODS, the purpose of this exercise is to advance tsunami preparedness efforts in the Caribbean and adjacent regions. Director of NODS, Phil Mo Mullen, says he is hoping that the exercise will highlight the various challenges being faced by those participating in such a large-scale event. Historical tsunami records show that over 75 tsunamis have been observed in the Caribbean over the past 500 years. These represent approximately 7-10% to 10 of the world's oceanic tsunamis. In the past 500 years, almost 5,000 people have lost their lives to tsunamis in the Caribbean and adjacent regions. This is Aisha Kaler reporting for ABS News.